A new rumor claims that Disney CEO Bob Iger has scrapped two previously announced Star Wars films. Let's get into this right here. This rumor comes from Scooper WDW Pro, who says, I am told that two theatrical projects, two movie projects that were going to be taking place uh, going to be taking place at Luxembourg will not. Now, whether or not they make any kind of official statement about this or whether these just go into the dustbin of history quietly, we will find out. So you're probably wondering which two films they are. Well, he tells us. Uh, one of those, I am told, is James Mangold. That movie is at least paused without ceasing. Let's say that. So if you're wondering uh, what movie is, Star Wars movie is James Mangold doing, well, they announced a movie he would be doing at Star Wars Celebration back in April. In a press release, Lucasfilm provided a brief overview of the film. It said James Mangold will take audiences deep into the past, telling the tale of the first Jedi to wield the Force and harness it as a liberating power in an era of chaos and oppression. He actually provided some more details uh, to Gizmodo in June. He said, when I mentioned to Kathy Kennedy, Luke's film president, the idea that I had about going backward, really far backward, I was surprised that it excited her and the other wonderful people she works with at Lucasfilm. For me, it's about I want to be part of the saga, but I also don't want to be holding so much lore in the air that you can hardly tell a story. And what I really wanted to do, what I told her, was just can we make a kind of the Ten Commandments of the Force, you know, a kind of origin story of how the Force came to be known, understood, wielded, and harnessed. So uh, Luke, uh, Kennedy uh, informed D the dig of a dispatch about how the film connects to the Daisy Ridley film that was also announced at Star Wars Celebration. She said, we've been talking a lot about going well into the past, and one of the things that's really knitting this all together, obviously, are the Jedi. What happened with the Jedi over time, much like history? How did the Jedi evolve? They were wiped out with Order 66 when they, uh, then they gradually have been coming back. The question that we're going to ask with the new Jedi Order and with Rey is, does the galaxy need them anymore? Do they want them back? So there's a lot of food uh, for thought in what we're doing, whether it's in the past, present, or future. I'm totally fine with them scrapping the James Mangold film. We do not need to see the Force as female origin story. That clearly would be what they were going to be, what they would go for. Uh, I have absolutely zero interest in getting a feminist lecture from James Mangold and then him whining and moaning all the time about uh, the film in the press leading up to it, as he did with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and throwing hissy fits on Twitter uh, over people uh, expressing their opinion about how they're not interested in his Indiana Jones movie. Uh, or in this case, it would be Star Wars. Uh, so you're probably wondering what the second one is. Well, later in the video, WDW Pro also detailed that Taika Waititi's film is also being scrapped. Uh, he said, the other movie that I have been told is essentially dead on arrival is the Taika Waititi film that he's been writing for. He may turn something in. He may get paid for it. I'm told it's dead. It's just dead, dead. Maybe they'll pick it up years to come, but right now there is nothing behind it at Lucasfilm. The Taika Waititi film was announced back on May 4, 2020, and seemingly no progress had been made on it. Uh, when asked about the project by deadline back in March of this year, he called it a rumor. Like, he literally said the movie was a rumor. It's just absolutely bizarre uh, when it was officially announced on the Star Wars website. Uh, but anyways, this is what he told uh, Deadline. He said, yeah, that rumor is about three years old. All I say is, God forbid I make a Star Wars film about people sitting on mountains playing flutes. Uh, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy told Empire in May that the movie was still happening. But YTD was having issues with the third act. This is what she says. She said, Taika is working away. He's just, and he won't get mad at me for saying this, slow. We've got a couple of acts. We need a third. However, White Titi would tell the Hollywood Reporter at the end of May that the issue was the middle part of the film, not the third act. He said, I've got a really good idea for it. It's just as with all films, it's this middle part. You're like, what's going to happen? And then you look at all of those films that are so great. You're like, well, I guess they can't meet some smuggler with an alien sidekick. However, he also noted it's not a top priority. For the most part, I would like to take a few holidays and go and follow uh, Rita. I think his wife, that's his wife, Rita Oro, around. Just be her little tour boy and hang out with her and just watch her perform and get her a cup of tea backstage. Uh, more recently, YTD admitted at the Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF, he had not completed a script yet. Uh, he's giving a presenting award to his fellow director, Sean Levy. Uh, who's also working on a Star Wars script, and YTD said, after Levy has had his way with that franchise like a cruel, indiscriminate virus, he'll move on to another and another and another, and then eventually probably Star Wars. He then admitted, unlike me, I hope he finishes, I hope he manages to finish a script for that. So, uh, I have no problems them scrapping a Taika YTD uh, movie either. Uh, after Ragnarok, I was absolutely done with anything coming from Taika Waititi. Insulting the characters, making a mockery of them as he did Loki in that film uh, was just uh, too, mu too much for me. 
Did not watch Thor Love and Thunder. I'm glad I didn't. Everything I've heard about that film is that it took what he did in Ragnarok to Loki and amped it up to the next degree and or the 10th degree and did it to pretty much all of those characters. Uh, so this guy is just out there to try to destroy these properties. He doesn't respect them. He doesn't care about them. Uh, and I'm not going to <laughs> respect him by going to see those movies. So glad that this got scrapped too, if indeed this rumor is true. The idea that they would be scrapping these movies, I think there's some validity to it. Uh, Bob Iger, the CEO of the Walt Disney Company, uh, recently informed Needham financial analyst uh, Laura Martin that uh, they would be lowering the output uh, for Marvel Studios and lowering the cost per unit for Marvel Studios movies and TV shows. So one would think that they would probably be doing the same with Star Wars as well. Uh, and then we, all, we even had this from Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige back in February. He told Entertainment Weekly, we want Marvel Studios and the MCU projects to really stand out and stand above. So people will see that as we get further into phase five and six, the pace at which we're putting out the Disney Plus shows will change so they can each get a chance to shine. When asked if he would be uh, spacing them out or putting out fewer shows per year, he responded both, I think. Um, so I think that is uh, really uh, interesting there that they're going to be cutting back on Disney Plus shows uh, over at Marvel Studios. So I think they would be probably cutting back on Disney Plus shows and movies over at Lucasfilm as well because they're making cuts across the board at the Walt Disney Company because as Bob Iger has recently admitted in a number of the earnings reports, they made a bunch of television shows that weren't making them any money. And if we look at recent Nielsen numbers for Ahsoka as well, it doesn't look like Ahsoka is driving subs to Disney Plus either as viewership is actually lower than the book of Boba Fett if you do a simple kind of uh, total hours uh, or total minutes view that Nielsen gives you and then divide that by the runtime of the episode. It is less than the premiere of book of Boba Fett. So uh, clearly not driving subs and they're spending enormous, enormous amounts of money on these shows. We had Katie Sackhoff uh, recently admit that the catering budget for the Mandalorian is actually greater than all of Battlestar Galactica. So the idea that they'd be scrapping a lot of these movies that they put money and time into and that they're not actually going to produce, I think makes a whole lot of sense. And these two movies that they're scrapping, I don't really think there's any interest in them. I think Taika Waititi star has completely fallen after Thor Love and Thunder. And I think James Mangold's star has definitely been smeared after Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. However, I think he has a much stronger resume and he can still, uh, he still has like really good movies that he's made, such as Ford versus Ferrari, and then every also Logan, and uh, there's, I'm sure there's a couple others in there too, but he has a much uh, stronger resume when it comes to his filmography. So I think he probably hasn't been completely uh, run out, but he's definitely, his star has fallen, and I'm sure they'll be uh, working on something totally different. What, what What is really interesting about this is we don't have any uh, information on the Ray movie, so it does look like that movie might still be going forward. Time will tell. Remember, they announced the Ryan Johnson trilogy, and we've seen neither hide nor hair of that, that trilogy. Subscribe for more.